Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another historic video. So today we're going to be taking a look at a waste knot deck with a bunch of discord spells and a land called Sanitarium. So we took a look at waste knot deck last time featuring the Sanitarium, but the dynamic has kind of changed a tiny bit with the addition of the One Ring and the Orcish Bowmaster. And what we actually learned after playing some waste knot last time was that waste knot actually counters Crucius. Opponent discards a card, we get benefit off of that. Sometimes the added bonus to the mana pool can come in clutch, even at instant speed since we do play things like go for the throat, fatal push, but we also have an additional card that we can play at an instant speed called Orcish Bowmaster, which is also going to be pretty good in this deck, especially if you combo it with the Sanitarium. You can force your opponent to draw a card and then discard a card, getting benefit off of both the Waste Knot and the Orcish Bowmaster. So having said that, we're going to be jumping into some historic best of three to show you guys how the deck does. And I also have a conclusion section at the end of the video to talk about the deck. So let's hop on over. Um... Hopefully we get... Oh, 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 okay. Feels bad. Can't thought seize. At, at least we have Bowmaster. And we'll pass. Oh no. I mean, at least Esper Sentinel is dead, right? We have that going for us. And then now we can do these kind of shenanigans. Okay, Karn is kind of unexpected. Okay, I should have maybe thought these first. <laughs> I should have at least I should have thought these first. No shot. I will defend my ally. My purpose is greater than myself. No shot. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That sucks, man. That really sucks. Oh my god, are you kidding me? And you just drew another... Okay, I was about to say... Okay, Karn is at least dead. At least the Karn is dead. That is so dumb. Okay, they messed up. They should have sacrificed it and then block. I will return. That is so dumb, man. Like, imagine just drawing double Karn there. Oh my god. So dumb. Like... 
This thing doesn't do anything. Liliana actually doesn't do anything because. No more distractions. Let's make this. Quick. Oh my god! I hate this game. <laughs> we all have things we'd rather forget. I hate this game. Imagine drawing back to back, right? This is why, ladies and gentlemen, this car spells are a scam. That's their third ornithopter. Are you kidding me? What is this? Oh my god. Oh, man. I mean, this... Okay. Let's... Imagine if... They didn't draw a corn, and they drew another Ornithopter. Then we would have been able to win, right? From there? We have a Shaldra. They're taking two damage every single turn. What, what a game, man. There's no way we can win now. See what I mean? The person that resolves the ring first wins the game. That is just the unfortunate truth. Uh. Yeah. Okay, go for the throat is actually just terrible here. Play Ancient Grudge instead. Go down on Liliana. Let's actually cut Liliana. Go for... Yeah, I mean, Liliana's just terrible versus 1-1s. One Retrofitters. It should be alright with Brotherhood's End. Play a copy of Invoke Despair. I don't know. Just because of the Planeswalker. It's not gonna be the same this time. Um, let's get rid of the one ring. Then we'll go Orcish Bowmaster. We're doing it now because they have Mystical Disputes. Um, so obviously they have Mystical Dispute here. So let's attack. And we're just going to get rid of their Mystical Dispute here. Nice. I actually can't believe they did that. Just to save an Ornithopter? Really? That's kind of crazy. Let's go, Shaldred. That's fine. Play the one ring. Hey, look, we play the one ring, and they they surrender. <laughs> oh my god, this is toxic. I'm not sure if I like this. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this. Whoever plays one ring wins. What is this? Toxic.
Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have a discard spell here. Another retrofitter. Spring leaf drum. Um, I think I'm just going to force a counter spell out, out here. There we go. And we want to leave the Shaldred's Edict for Karn. What are we looking for? So we're going to go blank next turn, right? So we're actually looking for Brotherhood's End. Like that. Ornithopter. One ring. Okay, so we need a Shaldrit, huh? We need a Shaldrit. So let's uh, destroy all artifacts. With Mavi, you three or less. Then we attack. And we shock this in. So we're we're looking for a Shaldred. And Goblink is kind of useless at the moment. Not the one ring. Where's the Shaldred, man? Sigh. This game. Hmm. Another one. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Shaldred? Okay, we one ring as well. Let's see if I can get a thought seize maybe. Okay, that sucks. Do you see this game? One ring fight. Actually toxic. Actually toxic. Waste not. These are not the vibe. Underworld Breach. So I could... Thoughtseize again. Two, three, four. We actually have four mana right now. Okay.
Okay, okay, okay. Do we still have one more copy of Brotherhood's End? Um, we have two copies of Shaldred. Sure. You got me. I am so surprised they did that. Another Waste Knot. Okay, well, let's draw first. Okay. So I'm going to take three. I mean, I, I could waste not here. I should not. I need to find Brother Hosand. What? What? Thank you. That just happened. Um, we're going to reset the ring. That's fine. I'm not attacking because they have um, that one land. I got on Joe. So we're looking for a shawl right here. Or another one ring works too. Glass casket on the Orcish Bowmaster. That's funny. Do, do you see what's happening here? It's just a one ring fight. Whoever has the most one ring wins the game. I'm surprised they play that. They could have used this as a balance. Okay, so let's try to draw into Shaldred. Oh my god, this game. This game is trolling. This game is actually trolling. Oh my god. Wait, they let me draw a card. That's kind of surprising. There you go. We finally found Shaldred.
We finally found Shaldred. This game is messed up, huh? This game is actually messed up. So... Paradox Engine. Wait, are they about to combo off here? Was it a combo deck? Was it a combo deck? Interesting. We might actually be able to win here. Right? Wait, they're just dead. Aren't they just dead? Okay, nice paradox engine. <laughs> Wait, actually come to think of it. They are a combo egg. Because... They actually did have Emery, so... So one ring, Emery, Paradox Engine, untapping, and what? I, they, they must have something else, right? Right. Land and we're good. Land and we're good. So let's start with Thoughtseize. Oh. Okay. I actually think it's Make Disappear. Yeah, I think it's Make Disappear. Since we can kill their uh rogue oh my god oh my god that is disgusting my top three cars were not a land so thank you opponent thank you very much So what am I actually and I don't appreciate it when people touch my thing getting rid of here I'm tired of your secrets hmm is it Shaldred? or is it is it the one ring let's get rid of a uh, Shaldred. Ah, they found a land. You're gonna regret that. Or or not. Yeah, they probably What? Excuse me? What exactly is that last card? I, I, I couldn't plus. There's no way. I have the one ring. What? How did that stick? Because it was a Thieves Guild Enforcer? Oh no, they got <laughs> Okay, well things we'd rather forget. Okay. You got me. Fine. 
I know when I'm not wanted. Waste not. Okay, well, I mean, waste not in this situation is kind of bad. I actually feel like they drew another Archmage charm. So, I'm going to start by getting rid of a Thieves Guild Enforcer, and if they counter spell. Okay, never mind. Okay, so they did have a Drown in the Lock, okay. I'm actually very surprised they didn't want to keep that card. Right? Okay. Ooh, Underworld Breach. That is pretty hot, not gonna lie, so... What do we mill? Should I pass here? Like if I underworld breach? How many rings do I have left? One more ring. We also have one more shoulder left. So, let's get rid of Thieves Guild Enforcer. Let me get rid of that. Uh, we'll, we'll draw into something else, right? We'll be able to draw into something else. It looks like they again got something. Hmm. Do we need a Crucius? Oh no, it's pinging me. So I'm doing this because I really need to win soon. <laughs> because I'm dead. So we have six, nine. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Six, nine. 10, 11, 12. We have it, right? So, that last card in their hand has to be a land. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Come on. Your land. Yes, your land. <laughs> okay. That was so close. That was too close. Okay, actually, unlicensed hearse is not that good, right? Because we have Underworld Breach and Croxa to exile our own cards. I think Brotherhood's End could go in, perhaps. I do we actually? So I feel like 
all of them just... Don't they just all die to Orcish Bowmaster? Man, what a bad time to be playing Rogue. What a bad time to be playing Rogue. Let's try something like that. We'll add a copy of a Brotherhood's End in. Shock. Snapcaster Mage. So I should have actually brought one. Interesting. Fatal push? Okay. Taking a bit of damage here. Wait, they got rid of Snapcaster Mage? Really, really, really? I do love me some Waste Knot, but... I don't think... It is time. Okay, I mean... If they do this, we get a free Shouldred. Okay, so they, they discarded the Snapcaster Mage because they, they already have one. Nice. Now we can bring back Crocs as well if we get a land. It's actually looking pretty good. Okay. Do we have any... We don't. Come on, we need to land. Did they find a fatal push? Yeah, I was about to say. Maybe I should have blocked actually. No, this could be um Earth tie. Oh, that's bad. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Yikes. So we need to draw a fatal push here. Yikes. Yikes. What a top deck. So we should have actually blocked the Thieves Guild Enforcer, but then if I did that, Urtai would have countered my... That feels bad. Waste Knot needs to come out early, man. Waste Knot needs to come out early. We also didn't get any single Bowmasters that game, too. We actually got a Waste Knot, but nothing else. Hmm. Graph the gift cage? Do I care about that?
Uh, actually, the sanitarium might go really hard. So let's do that. The sanitarium might go really, really hard. Really? What just happened? Maybe they give me some mana? Okay. Extinction event. Oh my, the sanitarium is actually carrying us so hard, by the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, hmm. It's Brother Hosend. Very nice. They might give me a land. Man, still playable creatures there? Whoa! Thank you! That's crazy. <laughs> okay, Waste Knot is actually owning right now. Okay. That's the end for, uh, Sanitarium. We can't- we can't do it anymore. Um... I'm actually going to Thoughtseize. Yeah, we're like- how many lands do they play? Do they play like 18 lands? They never draw non-land. This is insane. Like what? They never draw... What is this?
They're crazy. This deck is gas, though. The waste not in this game just put in so much work. I have a feeling I know what this card is. I think it's another cycling land. So, so let's see. I mean, they're dead. Um, no, <laughs> ow, ow, wait, so what's happening here? My God. <laughs> like I said, they never draw on land. G G. That was a very, very satisfying Waste Not game. Oh my god. Okay, so we played three games. We went three and zero. The last game I played against Rogue Deck was a, a very, very fun one. Very brave of them to actually play Rogue, um, where every card in their deck is one toughness when everybody's just playing Orcish Bowmaster at the moment. But my opponent never draws a singular land. It's as if they play like 18 or 16 copies of land in their entire deck. So the Waste Knot and the Sanitarium was just going crazy. It was going nuts. Every time I activated the Sanitarium, it wasn't a land. Because I was really hoping they discard a land. Because we had two Waste Knots down on the battlefield. We get four black mana, and then we can play Shaldred. That was the plan, but I mean, that never came to fruition. Yeah, that was a, the last game was a very satisfying Waste Knot game. The first one was, it, it just felt like we were just playing Rakdos midrange. And yeah, um, again, one ring just doing the heavy lifting. I almost, I was maybe thinking cutting Crucius. I know that's kind of crazy. But the reason why I want to cut Crucius is because we play Waste Not, right? Which means we play Liliana, and Liliana doesn't go too well with Crucius. Because Crucius doesn't want to discard cards, but Liliana wants to discard cards. So it, this is kind of a non boat but it still might just be correct to play Crucius. This, this is just a broken card, but um, we'll see what the Historic Anthology brings us. They did announce it, right? So I'm kind of excited. Like, wh what are they going to give us? La so last time I kind of predicted, um, I didn't say that it was going to be from the anthology, but I, I did say we might be getting Urborg, the legendary land, Urborg, Tomb of Yagmoth, just because that card exists in Pioneer, I believe. So that should be really good for that last deck. And maybe if they really want to surprise us, they might give us Cabal Coffers from uh, Modern as well. And that would go really crazy in that last deck, in the Mono Black deck that I presented last time from yesterday's video. But we'll see. Um, I have a feeling this one ring might not survive. Even in Modern, this card is being played crazy amount right now. Every deck's playing three or four copies. And that's saying something, I think. And even the Affinity deck that we were playing against today, they were playing the one ring, so... That should kind of tell you something. 
that this card is not right. But honestly, Orcish Bowmaster Shouldred, this card is just broken, man. I, I think I'll stop talking about the Orcish Bowmaster now because I, you guys probably know that that I like this card and you guys probably like it too. Um, so we'll move on and oh yeah, the copy of Underworld Breach. Holy moly, is this card something special? It's so good. It's so good. I mean, it does take away from Croxa sometimes, but I mean, sometimes Croxa doesn't save us. That time when we, the Breach, double fatal push, or sometimes we like cause a leg. This one of Breach is actually gas. It really saved us. And we were slowly dying to the one ring. So we had to Croxa and then barely won the game because we were just that dead to the one ring the next turn. Compared to the last deck, the three one rings and two shouldered is kind of risky, actually. It's kind of risky. Makes you want to go like three copies of shouldered. But considering that we haven't lost yet, why change something that works, right? And if we really need to get like the one ring or the shouldered back, we also have, I guess, the breach is considered either a shouldered or the one ring right so yeah i mean that was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie um as for the sideboard it's just a typical racto sideboard you have the duress for control decks uh shouldered's edict for control deck decks that play a lot of planeswalkers go bling versus a control deck or graveyard decks Kali toss for sacrifice decks samai skamji yagmoth things like that invoke this pair versus Rakdos midrange that plays enchantments like a fable for instance or just decks that play planeswalkers and then stone of eric versus samuel scamji yagmoth decks ancient grudge versus affinity decks unlicensed hearse versus graveyard decks brotherhood's end versus affinity decks and aggro decks and lastly extinction event versus mono green but uh yeah i mean that's it for the video if you guys enjoyed the video so far, as always, leave a like, comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.